Are you in the market for a Wi-Fi 6E mesh system for your network? Well, I might have the solution for you. Let's get into it. Hey, what is up everybody? It's Havoc. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how I took my network and upgraded it to Wi-Fi 6E using this, the TP-Link Deco AXE 5400. Now, I wanna split this video into a few parts. First, we're gonna unbox it so you can see what it looks like, some of the features. Then we're gonna jump over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to access it, set it up, and some of the features of this in the software. And then I'm gonna show you how to set it up and configure it via the Tether app on your cell phone. First up, let's take a look at some of the features that are explained on the box. So like I said before, we have the TP-Link Deco AXE5400. It is a tri-band mesh Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6E, gotta love it. As you can see, it also goes by the Deco XE75. Depends on where you buy it, how they market it. Speeds up to 5.4 gig, covers up to 5,500 square feet, which is great if you have a larger house or you have maybe some walls that Wi-Fi struggles to get through. This should be pretty good for you. Connect up to 200 devices. I don't need 200 devices. You might, who knows? And it's compatible with Home Shield, Alexa, and Google Home. Over on this side of the box, we have more stuff about it. You can see, Wi-Fi dead zone killer. Uh, we already talked about the speeds, 200 devices, seamless AI driven mesh. I don't know what that's about, but I'm excited to see. Easy setup with the Deco app. We talked about that at the intro and then works with all Deco models. So if you have other devices that you're using for your mesh system, this will plug right in. So I do have other Wi-Fi mesh stuff from uh, TP-Link Deco. So I'm curious how this all works into everything. Then on the back, you have a more kind of marketing stuff, dead zone killer AI uh, driven, uh, AI roaming. So it looks like maybe it'll switch to different Deco devices in your house, depending on where you're located. A uh, seamless roaming with one Wi-Fi name, that's gonna be clutch for me. I usually run a couple different networks uh, for testing, for uh, home Wi-Fi, and then I have another network I use just for my uh, barbecue grills, cause I run bottleneck barbecue as a kind of a hobby. So that's something there that might come in handy for me. Home Shield, and talks about the Home Shield stuff there. On this side, just more specifications about everything. Uh, setup just got a lot easier, so they could do the Deco app. So yeah, that's pretty much the box. And uh, let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at the device. So opening the packaging, it had very minimal cardboard, which you know we like. Three things in it, two devices and a box with accessories. So let's put the devices to the side over here and we'll look at the accessory box. So it gives you instructions here on how to actually set everything up, how to plug it in. We'll go through that on our own. Let's see if we can open this without destroying it. There we go. So inside the box here, we have a network cable. That's good, you'll need that. Probably only has one. Yep, looks like it just has one. The reason there's only one in my experience with the TP-Link Deco devices is you have to obviously plug one into your network, um, into your router, right? Or if you're gonna use these as your router, you'll need to plug it into your modem. So you know, your Comcast modem, Verizon modem, whatever service you have, you need to plug one in. So that's why you only get one. And then the other mesh devices, or device in this case, will connect it wirelessly. And then we have two plugs, a uh, plug for each of the actual devices. So let's go ahead and set that aside and we'll take a look here at the mesh devices. So. We have two of them, as you can see. Um, they have kind of a ripple look here at the top. It might be kind of hard to see with the lighting. And then there's a little Deco TP-Link logo there. You can peel that off. We're, gonna do, we're not gonna do that yet. Down here um, towards the bottom, it says uh, Deco 6E, in case you forget the brand or what kind of network you have installed. Then on the back side here, we have the TP-Link logo, three RJ45 ports, and then the power in port. On the bottom, you have the usual information about your MAC address and your serial number. Talks about the TP-Link device. Um, probably says on there the, let's see if it does. It says on here the, uh, yeah, the power adapter, what you need. Something that was interesting about this is these fans, kind of fan looking things here. Let's see if a little camera will focus in here for us. There you go. These fan looking things here, there's no rubber on it. So they just slide around. Kind of interesting that something like that wasn't included. And so they don't really stay still. And I think like the other Deco stuff that I have I do, but really that's all there is to it when it comes to unboxing this. So let me get it plugged into the network. We'll head over to the computer and kind of see what the setup is all about from the PC. Here we are over at the computer and I'm actually on my phone because the Deco devices require you to use their app 
to get them initially set up. So what the plan here is going to be is, so what I'm planning to do here is set this up via the app, and then we can take a look at it via the desktop browser. You want to open the Deco app on your phone, and if you don't have it, obviously download it. You might have to create an account. Go ahead and do that. And at the top right, you see the plus. We're gonna press that. And then you have a couple items here. If you already have an established network, you can do add a Deco unit. For this example, I'm gonna go like it's brand new and I'm gonna create a network. So we'll create a network. Now we need to find the actual device itself. And if you remember earlier, we had the XE75. So we'll scroll down here and then you can see the XE75 and 75 Pro. So we'll click that. It's gonna tell us what we need to get this set up on the network. We already have all that and wants us to power off our, our modem. We'll go ahead and do that. And then it tells you how to plug everything in and then check to make sure your modem is ready to go. And then what you wanna do is take a look at your Deco device and make sure it's flashing a blue light. Mine is, but if it's not, there's probably an error with it and you'll need to kind of click the help there and figure out what's going on with it. More than likely, you probably just need to reboot it or hit the reset uh, switch on the bottom. You'll need like a paper clip to do that. So we'll go next. It's gonna find the device. Sometimes this could take a little while. Well, there we go. It found it. It says you want to connect to Deco E A E E. That's its built-in network. I'm going to go ahead and click connect. So it's going to connect me to the temporary Wi-Fi on the device. And you can see found it. Now it wants to know where this is at. Choose one of those options there if you wish. For me, it's in the office. If you have it somewhere that's not listed on this, you can create custom there and go and create your own stuff. So I'm just going to do office. And then it's going to try to detect my internet connection. Mine is not going to find anything because I don't have it plugged into my modem. I'm just doing a test setup here for you all. So it should error out here pretty quick. There we go. Uh, and then it says, now you want to connect to your Deco. So I'm just going to leave it how it is. That's how it's connecting to the internet. We'll go next. Now we need to create our Wi-Fi mesh network based off the Deco devices. So whatever you want to name it, for this one, I'm just going to call it TP Deco. And then our super secure password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll make sure that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Obviously on your network, don't do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is just for my test for this video. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then it's going to create the Wi-Fi network on the Deco device. It should pop up here asking me if I want to connect to that new network. So after it's done creating here, there you go. And it says save your Wi-Fi to your phone, uh, save Wi-Fi access to your phone for quicker access. I'll just go next here. And then do I wanna save this network? I'm not gonna for this example. And now it says, do you wanna to connect to your device? And I do, so I'm just gonna go connect. And then my phone is gonna say, hey, what do you wanna to connect to? Let's go look at the settings here. And then you see Deco EAEE. -E. That is what we're connected to now because that's the temporary one. What we want is the TP Deco. So we'll click TP Deco and we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our password we set. We'll make sure it's correct. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, I don't want it to auto connect because I don't want my phone to auto connect to this so then I get no internet. But you can do auto connect if you want. There's additional settings there. You could set stuff like DHCP, et cetera, because this is going to act like a router until we do something different. So I'll go ahead and connect and then Wi-Fi disconnected. Now it's trying to connect to TP Deco, checking to make sure your internet is good. We don't have internet on this one, so I'm just gonna go stay connected. And you can see there, we're now connected without internet. So if I go back over here to the TP Link device, you can see if it's gonna connect, connecting to TP Deco, connected, testing the internet. Obviously for this example, we don't have internet, so it's gonna have no connection, but we'll wait for it to go through its process. And now it says your Deco network is now set up. This Deco is ready to use. Please connect all devices to the Deco network for better connections. We'll go next. Um, and then it says if you have other Deco devices, you can plug those in um, and the units will automatically be added to the network within two minutes. Really cool feature is that you can just plug in other Decos, connect to the network and they're good to go. A lot of nothing you need to do. Well, next, and then they wait till your Deco's LEDs pulse blue, then you'll be all set. Got it. And there we go. Now in the app on the phone, you could see at the top, it's TP under Deco. That is the network specifically for this device I set up. Um, we have an error unable to connect to the internet because I don't have it set up to connect to the internet. Um, but you can go in here and do Wi-Fi settings for it and you can set all that stuff up here. And you see at the bottom, we have the six gigahertz network because we talked about the 6E access. 
you can go through and set up everything there. If you want a dedicated backhaul or a Wi-Fi network and backhaul, we'll go back. And then over here, you have guest network options. I'm not gonna go through and set that up. That's very self-explanatory. Go back. You can see in the middle there is, it says no internet access, but it has like a little internet symbol on the left. And then my deco on the right, and I called this one office. And so this will give you your overall network kind of map, if you will. I have one client connected, which is my phone. Um, and then we can do smart home stuff, learn more. That's basically it. We can click on the actual deco. And here you see it's all crazy colored because it's not connecting to the internet. But you can see what IP address it has by default. And uh, what you should be able to do here is you take the IP address, you can type it in to the web browser on your PC if your PC is connected directly to the Deco. And then we can go in and take a look at some of the settings on the PC. So with the phone connected to the Wi-Fi of the TP-Link Deco, I went to its IP address. So for the example here, 192.168.68.1 in a web browser, and then ask you to type in the password that you use to set up your TP-Link account. You enter that. And this is the configuration page uh, via the website. So it's not great <laughs> to be completely honest. And they do this on purpose, I think, because they want you to use the app. Most of the settings that you're gonna wanna use are in the app. So here's our network map. And you can see we have internet, which I have none on this example. And then we can go to click on the actual device itself, which is TP underscore deco. We'll click on that and it doesn't do anything. Again, not the greatest interface. And then on the clients on the side here, we can see we have one client connected to my phone, but the middle, um, that TP-Link Deco in the middle, actually what it does do is show the device info. So um, it shows it's the XE75, um, its IP address, which we already know. And then we can see the wireless networks that we set up. So we have the TP Deco, um, you could show the password here. You can't change it. And down the bottom, it shows your network um, performance. So CPU load, memory usage. If we go back to the top, we hit the little hamburger menu on the top left. We can go to advanced and then you have two status and system. So we'll go status and the status is literally gives you a status. It shows you if you're online, information about being online, your IP address, etc. cetera, um, everything about your Wi-Fi and your guest network. Not a whole lot of information there because obviously we're not connected, but even so it doesn't provide a whole lot. Uh, we'll click advanced again and then we'll go to system and system, we get a few more options. So we have firmware upgrade. Uh, we can click on that and it's going to say, hey, where is it at? Do you already have it? Online upgrade. If I was online, it could check for its own firmware updates. We can go to system log and that kind of is just going to show you all the logs of stuff that has happened, rebooting it, etc. And then over here we have time settings. If you want to configure the time, very simple, a reboot if you want to reboot it. And then finally we have system parameters. You'd think system parameters would give us more options, um, but all we can do is um, enable a couple options here. So, I mean, if we enable that or that, we get no additional boxes and stuff to fill out. It just enables those features. And then we have search, which I don't know what we're going to search for. Uh, let's say maybe do WAN, see what it does. No search results. So as you can see, the web interface doesn't provide you a whole lot of options when it comes to configuring the mesh network. That is why they have the app. They're pushing you to go into the app and make those changes. So I highly suggest that's kind of what you continue to do. Since this is not the greatest, you know, solution for like a Wi-Fi router, um, it's really for the mesh setup. And there you have it. That's the TP-Link Deco XE75 Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. Look at that bad boy. Overall, seems like a pretty great device. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about it or want to pick one up, I'll put link in the description below. And if you have any questions or things you want to see uh, about the network settings and maybe the app, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, stay safe, have fun, and as always, keep doing good. Yeah.